As Princess Catherine recovers, her uncle made his debut on Celebrity Big Brother last night, and we got the clips. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor and Princess Catherine's uncle, Gary Goldsmith, made his debut last night after much speculation that he would be there. He did, in fact, show up. We have the clips to go through. Also, I saw a lot of your comments yesterday on my Planet video where I showed the photos of Princess Catherine. I got a lot to say because some of you were really mad that I showed them. I want to talk about it, but we're going to be doing that live over on Popcorn Planet at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put the live link at the end of this. I hope you'll join us. Going to have a conversation, and I'm going to let you guys call in. That's right. You can join us and call in. Uh, so I hope to see you guys there as we talk about that and some other news out there. Uh, and make sure if you haven't already subscribed here to Popcorn Palace, this is where you'll get your daily uh, royalty. Now, if there's breaking news regarding Catherine or Megan or Harry, we do sometimes cover it over there as well on Planet, but trying to pivot to more pop culture stories, you know, more topics over there. And this one I wanted to address because, yeah, Gary has not hid his feelings about Megan and, and Harry. Uh, Prince Harry threw my niece, Kate, under the bus. Slur in a book was absolute BS. He has made it clear that he does not like Harry and Meghan. He's team Kate. But Catherine and uh, the, everyone in the Royals are were said to be terrified when the Sun revealed in January that Gary was in this reboot of the reality show, which launched tonight on ITV. Gary, uh, brother to Kate's mom, Carol, said of the, his niece, she's beautiful on the outside, but more beautiful on the inside and really is a dotting mom. So the way the monarchy is moving, it's family centric. That's why I got so upset with Harry and Meghan, because you don't put a stick into that spoke and reinvent history. I've got pretty miffed when they had a uh, pop at my beautiful niece who couldn't say who, who couldn't say anything for herself. I think everyone felt the same about how much uh, about how much did we love Harry. And I think everyone felt the same about how much did we love Harry? Something's wrong there. Harry and then throwing your family under the bus just seemed inappropriate, especially with what's happening with the queen. I just thought it was totally unnecessary. And so now that's the question with Princess Catherine facing, you know, this medical procedure, she's resting. Is this really the good time to go do this? I defer to you, chat. What do you think of Gary coming out? I know he's trying to be pro his niece, Catherine, but here he is making his appearance. Let's watch what he said. I've watched Big Brother. It is the one show I said I would never do. Kaka, here he is. The one show he said he would never do. Well, Kaka, he's here. Gary Goldsmith makes his appearance last night on Celebrity Big Brother, showing up to the crowd as the fans go wild. Look, we have Big Brother here too. It started, I think, out there by you guys in the UK. Celebrity Big Brother became a much bigger thing out there. Our Celebrity Big Brother was not as popular. Uh, but, you know, they throw Z-list celebrities, like family members. They don't even really get big celebrities. Sharon Osbourne was a big celebrity who's showing up for five days in the house as a special house guest because she's not going to sit there all summer. Uh, and they know it. But, it, again, it's just like the, the, the level of celebrity that will show up to sit in the house for that long, it's hard to get. So they got Gary Goldsmith because he's the uncle to Princess Catherine. Kaka! And no disrespect, apparently he's like a fun personality and we'll see what happens. Will he talk about Catherine? Will he talk about Meghan and Harry? Well, it was asked right away a question about his famous niece. Let's see what he says. The nation needs to know, will Kate be watching? If she is, she'll be behind the sofa, I guess. <laughs> if she is, she'll be behind the sofa, I guess. Safe sort of answer. Which sofa? Nice one in a nice house. I can guarantee that. It's a nice sofa in a nice house. I think that's a fair, fair assumption. <laughs> right, right. Nice. Nice. Now that's all he says tonight. This is the first night of several, and we will keep you privy to any stuff that comes out of this if Gary does open his mouth. But let's get a little bit more to know Gary since we're on the subject. Now, do you think that people are gonna learn something new about you? Um, I'm not that caricature that they see you in the press. So mm. hopefully fun. Uh, entertaining, wind up. Uh, I'm a different bloke. Okay. Well it so sounds like the character in the press. <laughs> no, I mean, you're not afraid to say what you think about people. What's going to get on your nerves in there, if anything? Um, I'm taking everybody at face value, but if somebody is a bit mean or a bit rude to someone, I'm going to be the enforcer. Ooh! 
Oh, he's going to be the enforcer. If anybody lies and isn't telling the truth and they're stabbing people in the back, he will be the enforcer. As a fan of reality shows, I used to watch a lot of American Big Brother and I used to watch a lot of Survivor. It just started getting too complicated, the rules, and it was too many hours of my life. I gave up. But I am an avid watcher of these shows. And yeah, you, usually the winners, the calculated ones get kicked off. It depends who your teammates are. If they're a bunch of dummies, the calculated ones win. If they're not, then the calculated ones usually get pushed out and and some lazy people scoat through. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. But he wants to be the enforcer. Oh, excellent, excellent stuff. All right, let's give a right royal send off. For Gary Goldsmith. There he is going to the house. Gary. Man, look at that fancy house. There he goes as the fireworks go off and he gets excited to live in a house. <laughs> it's so gross. Such a gross, dirty, stressful place to be for months while you're filmed every moment of your life. Uh, I can't imagine a worse experience to be a part of. <laughs> but here he is. There's the house. I mean, it's a nice looking house. It always is nice in the beginning, and then after a week, you're like, I'm done. I need to get the hell out of this house, especially with all the people in it. As they all walk around, waiting. <laughs> Here he comes. I mean, like, who are you? Somebody's at the door. Somebody's at the door. I have to wear name tags because these fit these these celebrities are that famous guys. <laughs> so Sharon's not even really in the house. She has gets to watch from afar. They paid her, I'm sure, way more to sit there. This is exciting television. <laughs> you know, it's exciting television when you when you were watching two people watch boring television. <laughs> Me watching two people watch boring television. Not sold yet. Are you guys? Are you guys a fan of this show? I'm curious. Thank you. I tried hard. You look great. When they came into my room earlier, and my outfit was out. They're like, oh, it's um, it's very casual. <laughs> This really is live. Because they did not edit this to be more exciting. Cuckoo! Right, there it is. He's in the house. All right. Well, what do you think that's going to entail? And is this right? That's the big question I think a lot of people are curious about is, should he be in this house given everything that's going on with Princess Catherine? And should we be able to show her photos and talk about it? And is it really Princess Catherine? Oh my goodness, a lot of you think it was somebody else or a stunt double. We're gonna humor it all. We're gonna talk about it because that's what we do here. Otherwise, I'm a biased hypocrite. Uh, we can't sit here and watch all the Megan photos that we want, but not show some Princess Catherine photos when she's out in public. That's how I see it, but let's see you challenge me. Let's talk about it. We'll be live over on Popcorn Palace. If you haven't subscribed, or sorry, on Planet, we'll be live on Planet around 4-ish, 4, 4 p.m. this afternoon. Hope to see you guys there. And thank you guys so much for watching here. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe in there. I'll put the live feed there. Join us later today. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.